Good evening, I'm Mike Brooks. I'm Carol Morrison. Here's some of the latest news from Two Works For You. Charges now filed in a decades old cold case out of Tulsa County. We told you last month about two people being arrested several states apart. They're accused in the murder of Anthony Baltus. He was murdered 36 years ago and new tests of DNA evidence led investigators to arrest Earlene Lee in Texas and Willie Moore in Wyoming. Lee and Moore were officially charged with murder yesterday. The Sand Springs Police Department is making sure their policy over topless women in public is known. Now it's different than the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office, which says it's illegal. Sand Springs Police Captain Todd Esbrenner tells us that being topless is allowed as long as it's not in a lewd or lascivious manner. He says if a person is mowing their lawn with their shirt off, then that would be fine. Early voting starts tomorrow for a $110 million school bond in Muskogee. The superintendent of schools says if voters approve the bond, improvements would come to every school. This includes adding vestibules, so visitors do have to check in at the front office before they can get access to the classrooms. If the bond passes, property taxes increase, but school officials say the district is in desperate need of these improvements. And today, three Broken Arrow Walmart stores gave 12 teachers $1,000 shopping sprees. The winners were chosen after students and parents uploaded videos explaining how they inspire their students. One special education teacher says the money will help her students the important life skills like learning how to cook. Walmart also donated $3,000 to fund the new eSports program at Broken Arrow High School. All right, well, we're seeing showers and storms to our north. They're mainly impacting southern portions of Kansas. Uh, you may see a couple of those make their way into Osage County, but really it looks like more cloud coverage will make its way through overnight. And then a few scattered showers possible as we head into the early morning hours of Thursday. Those temperatures tomorrow morning as we're waking up, coming in in the 60s, maybe even a few 50s out there. Heading through the day on uh, Thursday, then, we are looking for a scattered showers to start. Otherwise, mostly cloudy skies, a north breeze, and temperatures definitely cooler. We're only going to be getting up to about 74 degrees for the high tomorrow afternoon. Now down towards the southeast, still a little bit warmer. It may take just a while for some of that cooler air to make its way farther south and southeast. Temperatures will be in the 70s for Friday, 80s briefly on Saturday, and then we're back in the 70s all next week. And for more news, just go to our website or our mobile app. And our next live newscast is Two Works Feud today with Corey Travis and Clint at 430. Kirsten will be back next week.